Oberklagen Television reporting from the Gigabyte stand at Planet Reseller CB 2010. Along with us we got Mr. Thomas Chang. Can you please tell us a bit about the new P55A UD7 board? Yes, um, for, for P55 chipset, uh, Gigabyte this time we, we also deliver the uh, most high-end motherboard called uh, P55A UD7. This is really the uh, most high-end board for P55 chipset. As you can see here, this is like a trademark for the most high-end board. We used to have, to have an extreme model which have this kind of uh, design. With the, for the water cooling, your uh, device, uh, the water tube can go through the water block and uh, to cool the heat sink here. Okay, and the other things I want to highlight for the most high end board actually is for a uh, three way SLI. And uh, we use the M Force 200 chip on this motherboard. And uh, the four M Force 200 can uh, transfer the bandwidth of the PCI Express by 16 to four PCI Express by 8. And uh, we borrow one of the PCI Express by 8 to the uh, link to the PLS chip, which provide a bandwidth for USB 3 and the SATA 3. And the, the rest of the 3 PCI Express by 8 we use for the graphic card interface. That's why we can provide three-way SLI. So uh, this motherboard not only have the optimized graphic performance of three-way SLI, but also have the best bandwidth for the USB 3 and the SATA 3. So um, I think this is the uh, um, uh, most optimized graphic performance and the storage performance for the uh, power user and the gamer. Thank you, Thomas. Thomas, can you tell us a bit about the change we see here at the, the DIMM? You use four now, unlike before. Is it because of the round time latency, which is shorter now, the distance is shorter? Is, is that correct? Um, actually, for, for this motherboard, we want to highlight we use more space for the uh, uh, SLI and the uh, uh, USB 3. We don't much highlight on the memory side. Ah, okay, Sorry. thank you. <laughs> All for now. Overclocking television.